Hi guys, this is Anita John welcoming all of you to our very own channel Anita John's English Grammar. Now as you all know since yesterday I have started a special segment for all my students who are preparing for their IELTS. Now in this segment I'll be teaching you how to answer what to speak and how to speak. Yeah, when to speak definitely only you speak when you are asked. But how to speak and what to speak i'll be teaching you in this segment many a times it happens that students are good in english their fluency is good but still they end up getting 6 6.5 bands okay 6.5 bands let us not talk about 6 6 you get only if your english is not good okay but 6.5 band is very common and people who have good english deserve much more than that so i will be in this segment i will be taking you from 6.5 to 8 bands. So let us begin. Yesterday I had uh, uh, given you the answers for one topic named names. So if you have not subscribed to the channel, I would uh, request all of you to please subscribe to this channel and please share it with as many people as possible because uh, yeah, the number of subscribers, the number of viewers are always an encouragement for people like us right so please definitely subscribe and share it with your friends and family and let everybody take benefit of this so yesterday's topic was name today i'm going to take a topic called hometown now what all questions i'll be taking 10 questions okay now the topic looks very simple hometown but now we have to find the difference between 6.5 band and 8 band and you have to travel with me so let us begin let us begin the first question the first question before that every day from now i'm going to give you one tip of the day and you'll have to promise me that you will be taking the tip of the day very seriously and following okay because these my videos are not just for watching and giving a like but it is to achieve our target. So today you have to promise me one thing. Record yourself and listen back. Don't wait for others to give you comments that your grammar is good, your vocab is not good. That comes secondary. First of all, you will record yourself. Now everybody has a smartphone. We, we are technology savvy people. Everybody has a smartphone. You have to, don't, we don't need to click selfies and post it on Instagram or Facebook because now we have a task at hand. We want to achieve eight bands in ILTS. So what you will do is you will record yourself and listen. You'll come to know your own mistakes because what happens when you're writing, you can see your mistakes, but when you're speaking, you cannot hear your mistakes. So to hear back, you need to record. So that is the tip of the day. And that is what you will do. It's a promise from you to me. Question number one. Hometown. Are you from a town or a village? So these are my answers. Now you can write the answers according to your city. Because these answers cannot be copied. Like yesterday. My answers were my answers because it was based on name. So you cannot write my name in your answer, right? Who gave you your name? Circumstances are different, but my aim is that you use the vocab, the words that I have used. Now, if you might, might have seen uh, in yesterday's uh, video lecture, the vocabulary was not very hi-fi. So you don't need to be very ornamental. You don't need to deck up yourself with huge ornaments your language has to be simple and sober but yet different so let us begin are you from a town or a village i am from a city named rajkot which is one of the largest cities of saurashtra in gujarat though it is not a metro city it is definitely bigger than a town question number two what is your hometown like 
Rajkot is quite a large and modern city with a population of 2 million. It's a fast developing city with good facilities for education and career. The people of Rajkot are fun loving. There are not many places for sightseeing, but there are many hangout places and eateries as we people are food lovers. Yes, Rajkotians are foodies. What kinds of transport, public transport are there in your hometown? So Rajkot is not a very big city, so most of the people prefer using their private vehicles for commuting, which causes a lot of traffic congestion. But we do have public transport like city buses and autos. Now I want you to mark two words. One is commuting and one is traffic congestion. See, if it is within the city, it is not traveling from home to office, from home to school, from home to college, that is not known as traveling. Traveling is within the city, uh, sorry, outside the city, between two cities. But within the city, it is commuting, C-O-M-M-U-T-I-N-G. Traffic congestion. So these two words you are going to incorporate. Okay? Chalo, very good. Question number three. What are people like in your hometown? I am proud to say that I live in a place where people are fun-loving, kind and very helpful. It makes my hometown a very safe place to live. But one thing that we need to learn is to follow traffic rules. Question number five. What is your hometown known for? Rajkot is known for its fun-loving people, modern infrastructure and cleanliness. There are some good places to visit like uh, the Watson Museum, the Pradyuman Park Zoo, the Dolls Museum, the Gandhi Museum, the Aji and the Nyari Dams and so on. Also, we are tea-loving people, so my city is known for its large number of tea stalls, some of which have gone to become a brand. What kinds of jobs do most people in your hometown do? We Gujaratis are famous for our business acumen. Most of the people of my city either own an industry or they work in industries. The other famous occupation is building construction. We also find people working in schools, colleges, restaurants, banks and other private organizations. Now here you are going to mark one word that is business acumen. Business acumen. Business acumen means expertise. Yeah. Has your hometown changed much since you were a child? A lot. When I see old photographs of Rajkot, I can hardly recognize it. It used to be a quiet place, but now development has sprung up like mushrooms. Large fields have been replaced by tall buildings. I think in the past 10 years, my city has just doubled in size. Please write down a phrase, sprung up like mushrooms. In Gujarati, bilada na top ni jem puti nikadiya che. Right? Okay. So these are the words which is which will make a difference. Okay? Chalo. Would you say it's a good place to live? If yes, why? If no, why? Yes, I think there are lots of great things about it. The climate of my city is moderate. It's not too hot in summer, nor too cold in winter. The monsoon is also not extreme. Also, as Gujarat is a dry state, it is a safe place to live with a beautiful nightlife as well. Do you think you will continue living here for a long time? I would love to continue living in Rajkot for the rest of my life. However, I am taking ILTS as I wish to go abroad for my further studies. But if I get a chance to settle here in future, I would surely do so. Tell me something that you dislike about your hometown. As such, there is not much that I dislike about my hometown as it is a place worth living. But I wish people would follow traffic rules and have some consideration for others while driving. Also, we need to control our eating habits. 
when we have to choose between food and health we neglect the latter which is not good so these were the 10 questions based on hometown the answers have to be simple yet sweet i hope these 10 questions are helpful to you and you remember your promise record and listen back yeah if at all you want you can send me your audio clip and i will give you comments wherever necessary if you are making some mistakes in grammar i will sms you back with your mistakes one more thing if you are in rajkot if you are in rajkot every sunday from 12 9 am to 12 noon i am available in my office for free mock speaking test no i don't charge anything for that if you are good in english if you are good in reading writing and listening but you are facing some problems in speaking then i am here for you okay if at all you are not from rajkot and if you need a slot for online speaking mock test please call me on 9099994232 my number is already given these are some of my recent results so if at all you want online classes or offline batches you know where to call me i will be there for you till my next session thank you and have a nice weekend